I'm gonna show you how to make The Sims 4 go from looking like this to this. We're gonna install Reshade to The Sims 4 using a custom Reshade installer called Shade The Sims, which I created to make installing Reshade to The Sims 4 way easier and it solves a lot of the issues that are associated with downloading Reshade and does most of the work for you. So I included a bunch of presets that automatically install, which yeah, I'm actually really proud of. So first you go to shadethesims.com, which is the official website and just press download for Windows right here. This will be the installer for Reshade and just save it wherever you want. I'm gonna save it to my downloads folder and then open it right here. Now you'll probably see this pop up that says Windows protected your PC. And the reason this pops up is because it's a really new program. So it's gonna take some time for Windows to recognize it and to flag it as being safe. But for now, just press more info and then run anyway. So now you'll be met with this sort of start screen and all you have to do is press install. Here you'll see all the presets that you can download. You can select whichever one you want. Also, I'd love to include more presets in here. So if you have any presets that you want to share with people, then contact me and I'll try to put them in the installer if you would like. So on the next page, you can set a path for the screenshots. So whenever you take a picture with reshade on, it will be saved to that folder. On the next page, you can select some keybinds, which for now are just these two. And lastly, the theme selection, just set whichever one you prefer. Now we're gonna hit install. And as soon as we press that, as you can see, it is now doing some work. It's downloading all the repositories it needs automatically. And it just finished downloading all the shaders and the textures that we need. And now we can start The Sims 4. Okay, so now I am in game in a fresh installment of The Sims 4 actually. And I'm gonna press F7 on my keyboard to launch the reshade menu. In case you're wondering why it's all the way over there, that's because I got a really wide monitor. So if you click on none over here, which is the default preset, which just means no shaders are activated at all, you'll see a bunch of these folders. So I'm gonna click on cinematic first, and then I'm gonna select afternoon shade, which is one of the cinematic presets and actually one of my favorites. In case you dislike the depth of field, you can easily disable it by pressing K on your keyboard. As you can see over here, that's what disables the depth of field. So let's try that. And yeah, now as you can see, no depth of field. Here's another preset that I like. It's called Cinematic Harmony. And then there's another one called Indigo, which is also kind of cinematic. And yeah, it's a pretty interesting color correction. I also created a preset called Aura, which is a bit more subtle and adds ambient occlusion, as you can see here. So it's a lot better for everyday gameplay, just to make The Sims 4 look a tiny bit better. So besides all of those, there's like six other presets that I haven't even showed you yet. So I recommend you head over to the website and try them out for yourself. So just to be clear on what the installer actually does is it automatically detects the installation location of The Sims 4. Then it sets all the keybinds and it installs the shaders with their dependencies automatically based on the presets you selected. It also automatically sets the right reshade configuration so that ambient occlusion works and it automatically installs the presets, of course. To uninstall Shade The Sims, go to Add or Remove Programs on Windows. Then type in Shade The Sims in the search bar over here. Click this and then press uninstall and uninstall again. Now the uninstaller will launch and yeah, you can just select the options that you'd like. I recommend reading on what they do. Selecting all of them will fully uninstall Shade The Sims. I'm just gonna select the presets and then uninstall. And as you can see, now it has finished. So yeah, it really is that easy to install and uninstall Reshade for The Sims 4. So that was basically the video and uh, yeah, join my Discord server and thanks for watching.